data engineering is gone on Azure. All right, so, well, today's video, we're going to talk about how they are now retiring the Azure Data Engineer certification. So you have until March 31st to get this certification. Let's get into it. So we'll talk about the announcement. What does it really mean? The timeline of events. How did we get here? Fabric versus Azure, because what's going to happen now is there's a brand new certification, Microsoft Fabric Data Engineer, which is now going to take over. So we'll compare those. How's that going to look then for exams? And then what's the outlook for professionals and the services? So this here, by the way, is the announcement, how I found out about it, which is through a guy called Alexi, who is a Microsoft Fabric YouTuber um, that I connect with on LinkedIn. Go check him out if you want to learn more about Fabric. So what's the announcement? Well, they're going to be retiring this data engineering certification on Azure, which is a big deal because it's the certification for data engineers on Azure. Now, what are they going to do instead? They're going to release a Microsoft Fabric Data Engineer certification. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're currently studying for the data engineering certification, then you have until March 31st to get it or to renew it. They do advise if you are just starting the prep, so you're just starting to learn Azure Data Engineering, look instead at Fabric. We'll get to what Fabric entails soon. Now, people's worry is how's this going to affect stuff like Azure Synapse Analytics, which was one of the core pieces of Azure Data Engineering. As far as I'm concerned, the three core pieces of Azure Data Engineering are Synapse, Databricks, and Data Factory. And so, they're saying that there is no plans to retire Synapse Analytics just yet. So, what is the timeline of events that have gotten us here? So, in June 6, 2023, Microsoft made an inquiry to the community about an interest in upcoming certifications for Microsoft Fabric. Then, based on that, they introduced a beta exam for Microsoft Fabric Data Engineer in October of last year. And then, pretty much today or yesterday it would have been, they announced that they're going to retire the data engineering certification and they're going to release the Fabric certification to the public. Now, if you're wanting to do the exam, you have until the other one is retired, you have a 50% discount on Fabric. So they're really trying to move people over. Now, why is that? Well, let's have a look at Fabric versus Azure. So if you don't know much about Fabric, it's a data analytics platform. It's supposed to be this unified, all-in-one platform for your data, right? Synapse Analytics is your, your an all-in-one analytics platform. Fabric is supposed to be your all-in-one data platform. So you have Data Factory, which is like your Data Factory, ADF. You have a data engineering place for, for your notebooks, etc. Data warehousing, the data science portion, real time intelligence, and Power BI. So the biggest draw for me was the Power BI because I'm working on a Mac and so I couldn't get Power BI on my computer, but I can use it through Fabric, which is cool. Additionally, they have Microsoft Purview, so this is to follow your data through your data's life cycle. So where is it? Should people be able to see it, etc.? And then One Lake as well, which is essentially their data lake solution. So as you can see here, it's this all-in-one platform for security, for data, and for services, which is cool, right? But it is new, so it has a bit of teething problems, and it doesn't have all of the features that you'd expect from, say, the Azure stack. So in your Azure stack, you have Azure Data Factory, Databricks, Synapse Analytics. So this is getting data in and then transforming the data. This also transforms the data, and they both allow you to, to query the data as well. But when you're working with Azure, something that I had noticed when I've done my full length tutorials on the channel is that you do have to know and be aware of, say, the Azure storage solutions like your SQL database, Cosmos database, then blob storage, for example. But you also have to be privy to security. And I don't just mean like Unity catalog. I mean, you actually really have to understand like RBAC and linked connections, etc. And so you can see that when you're following that Azure Data Engineering stack, it is more of an infrastructure feel than a data engineering feel, which I like as someone who's come from a cloud engineering background. But if you only are into the data modeling and stuff, then you know it's maybe a bit a bit much 
for you to know. So, what does this mean though, for exams? So, if you're like me, learning data engineering, which exam should you do? Well, for your data factory and Samsung analytics, I'm having a look and I can't see where you're going to learn or prove that you know these things. There aren't any certifications that cover it other than the data engineering one. You can kind of cover it in other ones like architecture, possibly even data scientist, but they're more specialised roles. As for Databricks, there is a Databricks Data Engineer Associate certification, so if you're really interested in Databricks, which to be fair, I really do like Databricks, then you can um, do that certification. Microsoft right now as well, they keep pushing this like applied skills stuff. Now, personally, I don't like it because I think if you want to do an applied skill as learning, then that's cool, but it's not really a certification. So for example, here it's like Microsoft certifications, which of these are certifications? Well, data scientist, fabric data engineer, fabric analytics engineer, and then Power BI. The rest of these are actually just skills. And so when you learn a skill, there's no proof that you know it other than the fact you click next, 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 submit, and then you just say, oh yeah, I've done that skill, I know it. So if you want to do a certification, it's really you have to learn fabrics, uh, fabric, so you're not learning your data factory or synapse, or data bricks. Or you can do data science, but what if you're not interested in data science? Then you have your analytics and then Power BI. So, so there's kind of nowhere to go if you want to learn your data factory and synapse, as far as I can see, which is not ideal. So, so what does this look like going forward? Well, from the services point of view, they keep saying and they keep reiterating that synapse is not going to be retired. But I can't really see them talking about data factory nor about data bricks and now i was always under the impression that synapse pretty much does everything that data factory does and the data bricks as you can see has its own certification so that's fair enough but if we go up here we can see that the comparison between data factory and synapse analytics so there are some things for example these here which Data Factory does that Synapse does not do, and that is supporting integration runtime and various pipeline activities. So I do wonder if in future they're really just going to fully try and absorb Data Factory into Synapse Analytics, as that would that would make the most sense as far as I can see. And then as for Databricks, you know, if you want to use Databricks, it is its own service. It's not an Azure service as such. So understand that. But for professionals, what is this going to look like? Well. Let me know in the comments below what you think it's going to look like, because this is just kind of my idea, based on what I understand. It kind of plays into the strategic role of Microsoft, of trying to create this fabric platform, this all-in-one data platform. And it's to do with this slow shift that they're trying to do into having their all-in-one platform. Because you know what Microsoft are like? They love proprietary stuff. They love this all-in-one platform. It's our platform and you need to pay us to get in. Um, but then also I think there is a big question of like, is this like an AI kind of thing? Because I know there's a lot of talk about data engineers being automated, like being automated away, most of the data engineering roles. And I wonder if that's a move in this direction. Who knows? That's it. They're kind of killing the Azure data engineer. Um, so if you do want the certification, it's obviously still going to be useful because you've got until March to get it and the services aren't going away. Synapse isn't going away. They're not saying Data Factory is going to go away. And then Databricks as well. Um, and obviously the, st the storage solutions, etc. Cosmos DB, SQL DB. It proves that you know that. But it does make you wonder, like, what's going what's gonna to happen next with it? Because I know that Fabric, for instance, YouTube videos get no views. There are like no fabric engineer jobs that I could see anyway on like LinkedIn or anything. So I don't know what the future's going to hold. I don't really know what they'll try to do here other than absorb data engineering into fabric. But I just feel it's a bit premature to retire it when fabric isn't even fully established. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think down below. Um, until next time, I'll see you later. Take care.